coming back to the 2020s, we can now talk about the MiG-19 and how it fits in the DCS multiplayer scene. If this is your first time here, I focus on multiplayer sim gameplay, so if you're into that, please subscribe. So why am I into this plane? Well, there are several different reasons. Some are superficial and others are based around capabilities. And the first reason is that this plane is a portal to the past. And if you look at this thing and think about how it was the Soviet Union's first supersonic fighter, you realize that it really looks apart. And keep in mind that when the Soviet Air Force was being issued this plane, it was about 15 years before the moon landing. It's peering into a looking glass and seeing some alternative retro future. And it is from a different era and it's very much not modern anymore, but it was modern for its time and the design choices reflect that. Look at these wing fences. They're attached to the wing to obstruct spanwise airflow along the wing to prevent the entire wing from stalling at once. The MiG-17 had this also, but it is something that kept going in the Soviet aeronautic design for quite a long time. The MiG-21, the MiG-25, and the MiG-31 had it. This thing is no slouch when it comes to maneuvering, which, is le which leads us into reason number two. This plane, despite being very retro looking, is nothing to scoff at. In its time, it was a premier fighter, and within the DCS playable module universe, it fits a very interesting niche. And when you think about Oppenwolf's Cold War server, this plane is probably the most fun one to play. It's not as fast as the F5, but I would say that at, at high speeds, it can definitely outmaneuver an F5. Just as long as you do not get below 300 kph, it seems like you'll be able to motor through every single turn. And let's dive into some examples to see what I mean. To set the stage, I am going into an AO and I see a con in front of me. I know there's about two or three around here and I have to be quick. I know that because of the AVAX calls and I'm heading toward this guy and I see it's an A-10. I uncage my gun sight and the gun sight goes stupid on this. I'm still learning the gun sight. Um, when you're pulling too many G's, it, it gets really wonky on you. And the radar is useless on this thing up under the deck. This very calming sound that you hear, that beep, 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 that was my RWR, so don't be deceived by how calming it sounds. And even though my RWR was going off and giving me a warning, because I or DCS spotting is so bad, I'm you kind of have to stay target fixated a little bit, or I do at least, because I end up losing contact against ground clutter a lot. And uh, so everything's very visual. Radar's totally useless under 2,000 meters, or fairly useless. And I let one of my heaters off and I hit this guy. He tanks it, he's still up, and I finish him off with guns. So my RWR is getting off. So let's see what's going on around me. And I see something's heading straight toward me. And, and then there's something else. So there's, I'm fighting two right now. Hard G turn, and I'm able to dodge his IR missile. Turn into him, and I pull up. And again, because of DCS spotting, I'm very worried about trying to uh, break eye contact. So I'm kind of have to try to take the fight that makes it easiest um, for me to keep visibility on. And because I wasn't really able to uh, keep, uh, you know, keep visibility and to come back down on them, I'm I have both of them behind me. So I'm basically going to try the same maneuver again, hard G turn, and then I'm going to pull up over the top. And these are two F5s by the way. And this time I'm able to keep visibility. And you see from visually it's an F5. And you know if I was flying a MiG-21, I could have let off an R60 but these missiles are only useful for dead six shots. I missed my deflection shot there. And if you notice like all this wrapping around the top, I'm not losing this guy. Stuck with him in the rolls. 
was able to do two different uh, reversals. And if I thought I was gonna overshoot, I pulled back over the top and I was able to accelerate pretty quickly and get right back on him. So there is a second one around here. And I'm this guy called Bogey Pitcher. So the AWACS is totally useless for me right now. So I'm looking around visually. And I see him coming up behind me and immediately turn into him. This thing maneuvers very well. And I'm able to turn it into a, a merge and I go back right over the top. After doing a turn into him, I pull up. And he pulls up and again, I just had done an Immelman and I'm basically pulling up again. So I've slowed myself down pretty significantly here, but watch the acceleration of this thing and just kind of see how this fight develops. I mean, pretty much I've turned a very bad situation, went into an equal merge, did an Immelman and then basically did another Immelman and I'm right on him. And right at this point I ran out of ammo, which is a huge bummer, but um, I knew I was recording this and I wanted to see what I could get away with, with not having any missiles and not having any ammo. And I wanted to see if this guy could shake me or not. So he's burning. A little lag there because I turned my radar on. A quick pause to make an important note. We saw that his afterburners were on, so I turned my burners on to keep pace. Now we see this black smoke appearing. This means that he's no longer using afterburners, so he may be trying a reversal here. This is a very good telltale sign to look out for on the Cold War server because most of the planes on that server, when not using afterburners, get smoky. Let's keep going. Uh, I turned my radar on here because I wanted to practice the uh, gyro gun sight, but um, we were just too low where the radar wasn't useful. So this guy does manage to uh, overshoot because I was kind of fiddling around with my joystick. Um, but I'm able to drop flaps and cut back my throttle. And he's burning and I'm not. And I'm able to bring the fight back into um, where I'm in the dominant position. So let's see this drag race, if he's able to get away. And he's not. Again, MiG-19 accelerates very well. I mean, if you kind of look at this guy, like you can tell he's trying to maneuver, but he just doesn't really have the speed. And he's just kind of turtling right now. I mean, I'm totally in his, on his six, and he's just not able to do anything. I mean, maybe in this position, he could try to get us under 300 kph and to really try um, a flat turn. Um, I went for the tail ram there, my wing hit him, but you know, I didn't have any guns, so I had to try to do something to get rid of him. And I'm able to bail and he doesn't, so I'm going to call that a win for me. Um, went into a fight, 3v1, yeah, one of them was an A-10, but basically just relying on the, on the maneuvers and just aggressively turning into people. This plane can do that and you can succeed with it. So I think with that example you get the point of how the sink and hustle. Let's talk about the bad. I'm not a fan of the gyro gun sight. It is a bit finicky, especially with how the radar is. The radar was made to intercept and fight things up at altitude. It has a hard time processing through the ground clutter, so I end up eyeballing most of my shots. This means that you waste ammo and the sink doesn't have ammo to waste. You saw how quickly I went through. Uh, my cannons in the previous fight. On top of that, this plane can only carry two missiles and they like to fall off when you do too many Gs. So you aren't really flying um, an, a, a thing that's carrying an arsenal like the MiG-21. With that said, this does allow you to lean onto your maneuverability more. You don't necessarily have to make hard shots and waste ammo because you can maneuver yourself to make easy shots to conserve your ammo. With how the Cold War server is, I would even recommend taking less than 100% fuel to try to lighten your load and to lean in again into your maneuverability. This brings us into another consideration for this plane. 
This thing is only going to be competitive and playable, really, on Alpin's Cold War server. I am all for memeing and taking an old plane like the MiG-21 on Growling, but this thing is just too old for that. For example, I've heard that the radio on this thing is AM based, while the AWACS on Growling are FM based, so it's just too old to try to meme with. So essentially, you really only have one server to play this thing on. Lastly, the biggest weak point of this plane is the situational awareness. The RWR is basic and it really only tells you when someone is locked on and fairly close. That's all it says. Your radar is pretty useless, so you are relying on AWACS and your own eyes. And with DCS spotting, that can be kind of difficult. Maybe it's easier for you VR guys, but for me on track IR, it gets a little tricky. Lastly, you have no flares or chaff. So the only way to beat missiles is by aggressively, aggressively turning into them and trying to beat them geometrically. And you can see that here. I have someone coming into me. I only saw him visually. And I see he fired and I pulled really hard. So this is the first turn. He blows past and he makes a single turn and I turn again into him. So I've done two turns. I point my wings at him to make myself smaller and he misses. So I've done two. Now this is my third turn onto him and again i've said this many times in this video the acceleration on this plane is amazing uh, i go ahead and use my afterburners and i start to dive and i'm able to get a good tone and lock and this time i use a uh, a salvo shot and i'm able to get a splash so this plane is pretty neat it's like flying a super fast spitfire in a way where you accelerate well you can turn very well um but you're fast and you have pretty decent cannons um you know could the situational awareness be better yes could the radar be better yes but for maneuvering it feels like the king of maneuvering on alpin's cold war server and it's pretty fun as a mig pilot that's used to flying the mig 21 and not really turning that much and just kind of flying in a straight line it's kind of fun to mix something you know to mix things up and to fly something that can really maneuver while still playing red four i hope you guys enjoyed this video please consider subscribing if you liked it and i hope you guys have a good day thank you